Good morning. So, okay, this is part three of the LPG trilogy I've been doing. This is just basically a very short video of me filling up the first time. And you know what? A bit embarrassing because I thought I think I'm sort of reasonably competent, sort of mechanically, that sort of thing. Uh, I don't actually didn't know how to do it. It was very, it's very, very different. So I wish I'd done what you guys are doing now and I've seen a video of it happen the first time around. I'm going to take you through that. Um, so this is part three. Part one was brought about because of Canada dropping the small bottle range and because of the inconsistencies in the flow gas bottles, not everyone can switch to flow gas. If you're unsure, there's a link there. It goes through it in big detail and it'll, you'll be able to find out whether you're affected or not. And what I'm finding, I'm surprised at this. I, I think I said in the video, 95% of people will be fine. Actually, the feedback I'm getting, it seems like there's more people affected than I thought. Okay. Part two was me uh, building a uh, refillable system and going through regs and that sort of thing. Um, and there's a link there if you want to uh, look at that one. And that's, uh, I'll put some cards at the end of the video as well. But this is all about me filling up the first time. Uh, you don't actually see the attendant helping me out. <laughs> I've edited that out, but anyway, um, it's different. So first of all, we put the filler into our fill point, but I'm gonna run that again slowly because that's the bit I struggled with, okay? But just before I do that, take a look at this picture. It's looking inside the fill point on the van. You'll see the two lugs there. Well, on the pump, there's the corresponding female lug nuts. You have to sort of engage those in. That's the first thing you've got to do. Okay, so I'm engaging those lugs and lug nuts and you'll see me rotate it clockwise until it stops. And then I pull the lever back and that makes the gas tight seal. And that's the bit I had to get the attendant to show him what to do. Once you know, you know, and you'll be fine from there on in. Now, reading the forums, it does seem that there's a few pumps out there where it's a slightly different system. So instead of rotating the whole pump clockwise until it locks, you just rotate a collar that is on the pump. So look out for that one. And then unlike a petrol pump, you just walk away and leave it and you press the button on the pump itself. And then that will start to put the gas into uh, the tank. And here's a view of my tank or my gaslow bottle. And you can see the gauge there starting to move as it fills up, uh, going from the red into the amber, into the green. And it will automatically stop when it's at capacity. That's the function of these systems. You don't have to guess. You just take your finger off uh, when it stops or before if you don't want to fill up all the way. And unhooking is just the reverse of hooking up. You release the lever. You'll hear a hiss now. Pss that's normal and then a, a rotation anti-clockwise and uh, put the filler back up onto the pump okay so I hope that helps catch you later